uh, Madam Toastmaster, Club Palace guests, newcomers. Which statement do you agree with? The glass is half full. The glass is half empty. <laughs>
in front of the public, they are afraid of mistakes or missing any facts. And to that kind of people, I say something like, chill, you know, if the rest of the speech will go through, so probably nobody will notice that you missed a fact. For example, I missed several of the facts, you know, but probably not many of you know uh, The other common thing is that uh, people are afraid of public speaking because they feel not really confident about memorizing their speech. Sometimes they don't think that they memorize it really well. So probably, and my recommendation is that you have to take some time ahead to have a lot of practice. And if the ultimate thought of practicing in front of public make you feel sick, so probably you have to start with family, friends, a mirror, or even your pet. So for example, my Scottish folk cat, Boris, is a very <laughs> appreciative listener. And that's my actual way to uh, get accustomed to performing in front of uh, people. Um, so the other important thing, and the other scary thing, is your entrance to the stage and your exit. <coughs> and if you are clumsy, and if, for example, you happen to falling uh, down with your back, you know, in front of the crowd, like me, for example, just like <laughs> some time ago, uh, so probably you have to be prepared to get up and dust yourself off. That or just don't fall. That's basic recommendation. And some people probably afraid that their speech is not really interesting. Probably it lacks facts. Uh, either it's too short or too long. So, uh, you know, we come here to Toastmasters to learn. And actually, I think that we have to uh, to uh, ask our general, our evaluator, to help us and to give us a piece of advice in order to obey, to, to make better speech for the future. And um, I'm running out of time as usual. And that is my basic <laughs> Okay. Afraid of public speaking or not, but you can decide resuming yourself from doing it. Make it, try it, because it's very important, it's way too important. You need it when applying for a job at weddings and funerals. <laughs> <laughs> Just find the best topic for you. And don't waste your time listening. Practice, because you have time for more important thing to do, to create the best and the most powerful speech of your life. Thank you. <laughs>